Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh K YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how to create industrial pipe railings in Tecla structures, just like this. Okay, let's start. Open your Tecla structures with US environment. Now we're going to create beam. So click on steel and select this beam and pick the first point and pick the second point to create beam like this. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now we're going to create pipe railings. So Go to the application components by using the shortcut Control F or you can click on here. In search bar, type number 86. Now you will find out this component number 86, industrial pipe. So select this component and pick the first point and pick the second point and select the beam and press this scroll middle button to create the pipe railing like this. Now close this window. Right click on mouse interrupt, click on space, right click on mouse redraw. You can see by default we have a pipe railing like this. Okay, now we're going to edit this pipe railing as we required. So right click on mouse interrupt. Now click on this option, select object in component. Now select this pipe vertical post, right click on mouse, enquiry. Click on part. You can see by default we have the pipe size is pipe one one and of STD standard pipe. Now we're going to change this profile. So click on OK. Right click on mouse interrupt. Now select this option. Select components. Double click on this pipe. Click on this parts tab. You can see in the first option we have the component number last two digits seventy six. We need to remember this number 76 then click on ok now click on space now click on this application components and we need to type here number 76 now we'll get here the s76 component number so double click on this component now go to parts tab in parts then click on here and select industrial pipe and click on load then you can see by default we have the pipe size is pipe one one out of std so now i'm going to change this pipe size profile size so click on here and let's take pipe one quarter std standard profile you can select any standard profiles as you required you can select the custom profiles also for example we're going to take this profile then click on apply ok now select this profile and use the shortcut control C for copy and paste here use the shortcut control V now click on modify you need to click on save as and load then click on modify apply ok now right click on this interrupt now double click on this close this window and double click on this pipe now go to parts and we need to import that 76 number component so click on here type here 76 now double click on this component now you can see now the number 76 component is imported now click on modify apply ok click on space right click on mercy review now i'm going to check the vertical post profile it should be pipe one quarter std okay now i'm going to check so click on this option select object in component and select this pipe right click on mouse enquire and click on part you can see now we have pipe one quarter std then click on ok then click on space right click on mouse redirect now click on this option select components and then double click on this component then go to parts you can see now second one we have the railings component number last two digits 77 so we need to note it down the 77 so okay now we're going to check this railing pipe so click on this option select object in components then select this pipe right click on mouse and click on part you can see by default we have the profile size pipe one and of std so now we're going to change this profile so click on okay now select this option select components then click on this application components then type here number 77 now you will get here the railings s77 number component so double click on this component 
now by using this screen control you can move this window up and down and left and right if you if you don't have this screen controller please go to my channel and watch it how to download and install so click on this parameter step and click on here and select this industrial pipe then click on load by default we have the pipe one out of std now we're going to change this profile so click on here let's take pipe one quarter std then click on apply ok now go to right step in the right also we need to change the profile so click on here you can copy this profile so just copy it ctrl c use the shortcut ctrl c for copy and go to the right and paste here by using the shortcut ctrl v you can also choose from the profile catalog then click on modify apply then go to the bottom you need, you need to save this one so click on save as then click on load now go to the bottom and then click on modify apply ok Telecom must interrupt. Now we're going to update this one into this component. So close this window. Now double click on this component. Now go to parts and click on here. Type here number 77. Then double click on this component. Then click on modify to see the result. Then click on modify apply. Okay. Now we're going to check this profile. It should be pipe one quarter std. So click on this option select object in component so select this pipe right click on mouse and quiet click on part you can see now the profile size should be pipe one quarter std like that you can change the profile as you require from this option okay now if you want to change this profile here for the railing then go to the application components and then double click on it now we're going to change this profile to scroll it up and let's take this one and click on here and here also we're going to take this one then click on modify then go to the up click on save as then click on load click on modify apply ok right commas interrupt now click on this option select components then double click on it now go to the parts now click on modify to see the result you can see now I have this kind of profile then click on modify apply ok click on space right click on redouble if you want to create middle rise then double click on this component as 77 then go to the middle rise Go to the middle rise now we need to copy this profile just copy it pipe one quarter std then paste here now you can see uh, currently we don't have any number zero means there is no middle rise so for example we call one right and with the spacing 11 inch and if you want to change the total width of top rail and bottom rail distance for example we have the one feet six inch for example we're going to take one feet ten inch uh, from the top rail to bottom rail distance means here you can see the top rail bottom rail in between distance should be one feet ten inch according to this option now go to the middle rail and uh, from top to uh, middle rail distance we have 11 inch then click on modify now go to the top and click on save as and click on load then go to the bottom modify apply ok now we need to update this profile so double click on this component then click on parts and click on modify to update it modify apply ok you can see now we have the middle rail like this if you want to create two rails then double click on this component now now go to middle rights now here we're going to take two uh, two number of middle rights and the spacing between rights uh, we're going to take seven and off inch then go to up and then click on modify 
and go to the demo then click on save as and then load it go to the bottom then click on modify apply ok okay right click once interrupt now we're going to update this component once again so double click on this component then go to parts and click on modify apply ok you can see now we have the two rails like this if you want to change this play profile then double click on this component now go to parts you can see now we have the number component number is 75 so enter here number 75 in the application components then double click on it now go to parameters and click on here at the top click on here and select industrial click on load then click on here let's take the plate width 3 inch and thickness is 1 by 4 inch then click on apply ok then click on modify then click on save as and load and go to the bottom then click on modify apply ok now we need to update this component so double click on this right go to the parts and we need to change this one so click on here let's take 75 double click on this component then click on modify to see the result apply ok you can see now this plate width should be 3 inch if you want to check then click on here select object in components and select the pipe right click on mouse enquire click on part you can see now we have the plate thickness quarter and width 3 inch like that you can change this plate as you require with the same processor okay close this window right click on mouse interrupt click on space right click on mouse reload again and select this option select component if you want to change this uh, connection then double click on space go to display and tick mark here uh, under the component symbol click on here then click on modify apply ok click on ok now select this option select object in components now double click on this component symbol you can see now have the spacing here 1 by 4 inch by default if you want to increase let's take uh, off inch then click on modify you can see now here the spacing should be off inch now go to parts tab in parts you can change the angle profile for example click on here by default we have this profile for example we're going to change this profile then click on apply ok then click on modify to see the result you can see now have profile updated then go to parameters tab click on here you can change the position of this oh, angle as you require then go to the bolts tab in bolts you can change the bolt size for example we're going to take half inch and tall is 1 by 16 then click on modify you can see now we have the bolt size should be half inch then you can increase the number of bolts or reduce the number of bolts from here for example we're going to take three and the spacing between the bolts we're going to take two inch and edge distance we're going to take 1.5 inch then click on modify you can see now edge distance should be one and a half inch and distance between the two bolts should be two inch and edge distance should be one and a half inch and the number of rows three in the lengthwise okay you can see for example we're going to take two and the spacing three inch then click on modify you will get like this similarly you can change in the widthwise also for example uh, from edge edge of the angle to first wall distance uh, we have the two inch for example we're going to take 1.5 then click on modify you can see now the from edge to first wall distance should be one and a half inch we're going to take two inch and click on modify if you want to increase the bolts in the width wise you can increase from here for example take two and the spacing one and spacing 1.5 between the bolts then click on modify you'll get like this okay currently we record only two inch from the edge and number of bolts one in the width wise then remove the distance then click on modify you'll get like this okay then click on modify apply okay if you want to update this uh, profile to remaining connections then double click on this component now hold the control button and select remaining component symbols now click on modify to see the result modify apply okay you can see now all connections should be same as we entered previously 
okay click on space ready for master dw okay that's it about how to create industrial pipe railing syntax class structures if you like this video please like it and share it if you have any doubts please comment below for more tech class structure related videos please go to my channel youtube.com slash gani sk i will provide this link in the description below of this video please go through it and come here under videos you can find out so many tech class structure related videos i hope this videos might be helpful to you and at the top right corner please click on subscribe button if you subscribe you will get notification or updates when uploading new video so please click on subscribe okay thank you